Okay, here's a video of my Nano Cube 28 gallon and Fusion 10, 10 gallon mid April 2016 update. I'm gonna do something new this time. I'm trying something new. I'm gonna do an update video combo for both tanks. The, re the reason is uh, the tanks are right next to each other, so I might as well just do both videos at once see how it works out since my tanks are next are right next to each other now my apex junior is controlling both of my LEDs both of my kessels also I only have to press the, the feed button on my apex junior to feed the corals and all the pumps turn off at once so let's do this here's uh i'll begin with the nano cube that's gonna be my mid-april 2016 update everything is doing fine my coral none of my corals are dying anymore here's the full front view everything has grown since last video that's always a good thing Everybody, all my corals look happy, including my bubble tip anemone and my clownfish back there. I'm still doing uh, three gallon weekly water changes every Friday. I never miss a beat on that one. I'm still dosing uh, six milliliters of Nano Reef Part A and B every Monday and Wednesday. That seems to be helping my corals stay, stay, stay happy and, and growing. I'm still using Kimi Pure Blue filter and filter floss inside my media basket. I'm still using Instant Ocean uh, Sea Salt Mix. Seems to be working fine after about two months. I was using Red Sea Coral Pro. I'm still using uh, the 4 bulb ATI uh, fixture to supplement my lighting. Uh, there's the another view of my nano cube from the side towards the back of the tank my that's where my um, rose bubble tip anemone is that's where my clowns clownfish hang, hang out most of the time uh, my jada mine tree coral has grown some more and it's happy that's one of my favorite corals really nice with a purple rim there's a Changbang Zoa colony looking nice also. It started out with like two polyps, now it's like 20 at least. I also grabbed a piece of my green star polyp that I took apart and put it towards the back over here. It's expanding nicely. So I'm gonna cover my, my bottom, bare bottom. Here's my nano cube right side view. On the front, towards the back, right there is my uh, purple Idaho, purple Idaho great Monty, and my punk rocker zoas right next to it. Those red zo looking zoas. There's my purple stylophora colony all the way in the front. Here's some of my corals in that, in that rock right there. A whole bunch of them together. I did move my rainbow acan toward, toward the middle right there because it was stinging one of my corals down there. There's a green monte cap with blue polyps and purple rim towards the bottom right there. There's my green star polyp colony growing like grass which is what I want. There's my uh, left side view for my nano cube from the front. There's the rose bubble tip anemone and maroon clownfish pair. That's where they hang out most of the time, like I mentioned before. Some fun facts about clownfish there that I have. The female is the bigger of the fish. See, they, they both share the anemone. I've read that clownfish can live up to 25 years in an aquarium, and I believe it. Some people can verify it. 
these two guys have been with me since 2006 and are the only two fish in that tank. In my tank. There's my uh, orange Monty Cap colony. Started from a little frag. And it takes about, at least it took me about a year to grow my Monty Cap that big right now. It's been about a year, maybe a little bit more, a year and a half. It's so big that it takes half of the front side of my tank, but I'm fine with it. I, I really love this coral. It's an eye catcher indeed. My pride and joy right there. Now I'm gonna start with my Fusion 10 gallon for mid-April 2016 update. 10 gallon tank. Uh, this is the full front view of my Fusion 10 gallon. Some of the corals in here are the same as the ones in, in the other tank. In, my, in this tank also my, my, my corals are doing good. Everything has grown, everything looks happy. The only thing that I've downside of my tank right now in this tank particular tank is that my anemone died. As a tip I would I would never try I would not try an anemone on a, on such a small tank. They need much more space than this and because anemones grow really fast and get huge. They can pretty much grow the size of this tank easily. So I'm not I'm not doing that again. I had some temperature swings that messed it up also, so that was his demise probably. Um as far as fish and invertebrates in this tank, I have a black and white clownfish, a yellow watchman goby, and a candle pistol shrimp. A couple of hermit cap crabs running around in there too. Here's the right side view of my Fusion 10 gallon from the front. That's my hammer coral back there. Pretty nice coral. It's got a sweep, sweeper tentacle coming out of it. So it's the right right there. That's pretty cool to see. It's surrounded by regular can, uh, my regular candy canes. Krypton, kryptonite candy canes and the papaya polyps all the way on the bottom way in the back there in the front rock is it's a sun there's a sunset monty a rainbow monty a purple haze and some punk rocker zoas that are grabbed from my other tank I'm pretty much naming all the corals that I have in this tank I also have an Idaho Great Monty and a Palawanensis Monty in this side of the tank. Here's my um, left side view of my Fusion 10 gallon from the front. That's my uh, frog, frog spawn coral. It looks a lot like my hammer coral, but it's just a little bit different. Pretty much the same color too. They're, they're related. Some people, some 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 of the corals are, are crossed in the middle and on the sides right there, or this side of the tank. It all those corals right there. Too many to mention. There's a screaming screaming green burst nest right in the middle. So at the front of that of my tank is uh, an unknown monty on the left and an orange monty on the on the right. So yes, everything has grown since last video, so I'll finish the video with some full tank shots. First will be my Nanocube 28 gallon. As you can be seen, everything looks nice. And a full front, full tank, full tank shot of my Fusion 10 gallon. Hopefully everybody liked my combination video. They'll tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe for next one. Take care.